stacking completed for the first ever SLS rocket, a service module to propel astronauts around the moon on Artemis 2, and a brand new command module arrives at the KSC for Artemis 3. All that and more on today's Space Launch System Rundown. On October 20th, 2021, nearly a decade of hard work finally came to fruition when the SLS rocket was fully stacked for the first time. The stacking process of the rocket started in November of 2020, with the first two SRB segments having been lowered onto the mobile launcher. After this, an additional eight SRB segments and two forward assemblies were lowered onto the stack to complete the first ever stacking of two five-segment solid rocket boosters for a functional rocket. Then, on June 12th of 2021, the massive core stage was lowered in between the two SRBs and attached to the stack. This was then followed up on June 22nd with the stacking of the conical launch vehicle stage adapter. After this, on July 5th, the interim cryogenic propulsion stage would lowered into the LVSA, officially completing the rocket portion of the space launch system. Finally, on October 10th, the Orion stage adapter as well as 10 secondary payloads were stacked atop the ICPS, with the Orion spacecraft itself following suit on October 20th. After the ICPS was stacked under the rocket, the Orion stage adapter structural test article as well as an Orion mass simulator were both stacked atop the rocket for testing purposes. These two pieces of hardware served as analogs for the real flight hardware during the testing of the whole vehicle, both of which were de-stacked to make way for their flight rated cousins that crowned the rocket as its payload. Next up in the news, the European service module for the Artemis II crewed mission to the moon has been shipped to NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On October 14th, the European service module arrived by plane to the KSC where it was offloaded and rolled into the operations and checkout facility for integration with the rest of the Orion spacecraft in preparation for the first ever crewed flight of the space launch system. The European service module, contracted by Airbus and manufactured in Germany, is the European Space Agency's contribution to the Artemis program. This service module is derived from the automated transfer vehicle that was used to resupply the ISS from 2008 to 2015. This particular service module, known as ESM-2, will propel four astronauts towards the moon for an Apollo 13-style flyby of our celestial neighbors sometime in 2023. Artemis II represents the first crewed mission to the moon in over 50 years and the beginning of crewed exploration to the moon under the banner of the Artemis program. On October 15th, the pressure vessel for the Artemis III Orion spacecraft arrived at the Kennedy Space Center. Having recently completed its welding at NASA's Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans, the Orion was transferred to Florida where the next portion of its manufacturing can begin. This new Orion capsule will join three other Orion capsules, EFT-1, which has already been to space, Artemis-1, which is preparing to fly to space, Artemis-2, which is preparing to be mated to the recently arrived European service module, currently at the Kennedy Space Center as its journey toward completion continues. Once completed, this Orion spacecraft will be stacked atop an SLS rocket in 2024 and fly to the moon to rendezvous and dock with a lunar lander and enable the first lunar landing in over half a century. On August 19th, the interim cryogenic propulsion stage for the Artemis II SLS rocket was offloaded at Cape Canaveral in Florida. Built by United Launch Alliance in collaboration with Boeing, the interim cryogenic propulsion stage is the second stage of the Space Launch System rocket. It's designed to send the 26.5 metric ton Orion spacecraft on a translunar injection for the first three Artemis missions before being phased out by the much larger Exploration Upper Stage on Artemis IV. This stage in particular, however, will be the first of its kind to propel humans towards the moon in 2023. On August 8th, the massive liquid hydrogen tank for the Artemis II mission to the moon was fully insulated with its iconic spray-on foam insulation. This foam insulation provides the cryogenic fuel tank with much-needed thermal protection in order to keep the incredibly cold hydrogen at a temperature of negative 423 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 252 degrees Celsius. This foam insulation prevents boil-off of the cryogenic fuel and allows for much more performance of the vehicle. The foam insulation is also where SLS gets its iconic orange color from. As the stage sits in the light, the foam transforms from a light yellow into a deep orange or even a rust brown. And finally, on July 8th, the boat tail and a barrel section of the Artemis II core stage were mated together to form the engine section for the second ever SLS rocket. This engine section represents the most complex piece of hardware in the entire core stage and has to be able to control and channel the thrust of four RS-25 engines during flight. 
This particular engine section is currently being prepared to be mated with the liquid hydrogen tank in a few months from now as the core stage continues its push towards completion, after which it will be shipped to the Kennedy Space Center where it will be prepared for its crewed mission to the moon in 2023. That's all for today. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. And don't forget to ring that notification bell to be notified of future videos. This has been your Space Launch System Rundown.